actually I have a suggestion. Mm. Get two credit cards. One credit card for online purchases. Then you estimate if most of your online purchases are below twenty thousand. Then that's how much. Then you that's the credit limit that you put. That way you limit your damage. Right. So then use that for online purchases. Then that's that. That's how how don't you can. Use your, in other words, don't use your main account yes. to buy online. Yeah, right. especially your platinum card. No, no, no yeah. I don't have. I, I, don't, I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> yes. So so you tell your bank, you know, you give me a credit card. I just want a credit limit of twenty five thousand. Yeah. And that's the maximum. And they exposure. now have these prepaid uh, yeah, credit, credit cards. cards right. no, no, no. All the for ATM, online. Right. All the savings accounts now come as debit cards mm -hmm. yes. that you can use as credit cards for online transactions. That's safer. You put a small uh, defined mm -hmm. amount there. And that only gets hit up to that amount. In other words, it's a, these are relatively disposable uh, accounts. accounts. Relatively right, right, disposable right. accounts. Uh, right. You don't cry when it gets. When it gets, gets anyway, hit. once uh, you're able to prove, you can still recover it. Right. But at least it's not a. You big, don't lose your. To a limited savings. extent, right. uh, credit card companies right now do not recognize phishing as something that's recoverable. So if you do get email that says. Mm. Um, uh, enter your password here, then and then you gave it, and then you gave it, or enter your credit card information here, and you gave it. That might not be something you can recover from. Yeah, but so the general guidance. I mean, let's just say here, the general guidance of, of, of banks usually is that remember we never ask for your password. Right, is that right, correct? Right. Mm. But you know, some people it still it still flies over their heads. Mm. So again, we we talk about digital literacy all the time, and this is part of it.